Scared little. You can handle him. Just duck and cover, duck and cover. Oh, I just love this thing. It's just, it's just all kinds of epic. Interesting. Having just flown my uh, my weasel, uh, sorry, tell a lie, the little extensively. It'd be interesting to compare it to the. Ah, that's better. <laughs> Troll. That's always kind of a useful thing to have. to just sort of build, you know, and this one you can put in a rucksack, go on holiday with it, and just assemble it and um, off you go, which is fantastic. can talk without the wind blowing right in the, uh, my ears constantly. Um, right, a quick comparison between flying the weasel and my home-built modified little glider. The weasel is still totally worth your money. It, the roll on it is fantastic and uh, it's a really sort of clean, smooth foam fly model and I think it's totally worth the money. I think it's over £100. Uh, I got mine second hand, so you see them come up on eBay, nab them. Um, that said, the Lidl performed amazingly well. It was just absolutely fantastic and immense amounts of fun. You can still roll it, maybe not quite as well as the Weasel, but there was something really, oh, I don't know, yank and bank about it, which I really liked. A um, little bit more twitchy uh, in the higher winds, but I was, that was a nine knot wind and it was great, absolutely great. Mm, a little bit of balance in the front, just a five gram weight. And uh, I can't complain. I decided not to take out the ASK because there wasn't really a good, nice long area to land in the wind. I'd end up clouting a bush with one of the long winds, uh, wings. So I think best left that one in bed. Uh, and the Wicked Wing, well I've flown that fairly recently. And I know it performs really well uh, in, in weather like this, so thought they'd take the other two out. Alright, shall head home. <laughs> <laughs> 